Hey, 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 happy day, Sharon horn Elfstrom here with a pink flamingo, which is the closest I could find to an ostrich because they're kind of tall. They're not nearly as tall as an ostrich. And then my North American wildlife matching deck from the uh, Yellowstone National Park. My son brought this back for my granddaughter and I to play with, which we had fun. And I thought, oh, maybe there's an ostrich card in there because I can't find the ostrich this morning. I know we have an ostrich in the house somewhere, although we might not have it. It might be at my son's house. It might be at uh, my his grandmother's house it could be at my granddaughter's house but I couldn't find it here so I blew it off and I found a pink flamingo to illustrate our idiom today which is bury your head in the sand now bury your head in the sand means to of course ignore a dangerous situation not know what's going on around you uh, to hide from any sign or any obvious sign of danger right uh, this expression it's really funny because people are wrong about it including me. I thought ostriches buried their head in the sand until I read this and now I'm a little embarrassed to admit that I didn't know it wasn't true. But apparently in Roman times, Pliny the Elder, I have no idea who Pliny the Elder is, but he wrote about and talked about ostriches burying their head in the bushes. Now it turns out that ostriches don't bury their heads at all. They don't ever bury their heads. They don't, it was believed that they buried their heads so that they couldn't see their enemies coming and they believed that if they buried their heads, their enemies wouldn't see them. Okay, pretty ridiculous, right? But that was what was rumored or believed about ostriches. Well, it turns out they don't bury their heads at all. They don't hide their heads in bushes. They just lower their heads to the ground in order to eat, to eat berries or bugs or whatever, insects, whatever it is that they eat. I guess I don't know what ostriches even eat something I could look into. Maybe if I get curious, I will. Maybe the granddaughter and I will look into what ostriches eat today. But the point is they're super duper tall. And when they bend over and have their head down, people believed that they don't move very much because they're eating things on the ground, that their head was buried in the sand, which is of course now to me ridiculous, even though I totally believed it for all of these years up until reading it yesterday, right? So that's embarrassing for me. But how many times do we believe something's true only to find out that our interpretation of it is not right or not true or not based on the intent that someone else was putting forth, right? A lot, often, like almost every day we find something out. Anytime we assume, I mean, they say the expression, anytime you assume you make an ass out of you and me, that is an expression for a reason because so often as human beings, we assume things about other people, other businesses, our competition, the world, right? We assume how things are and we don't always investigate. Sometimes we need to just really ask more questions and dig more deeply and find out if it's even true. A lot of times it's easy to believe things or ignore the signs of things. I am super guilty of ignoring the signs of things, especially things that I don't want to see or I don't want to deal with. I did that in my relationship with my ex-husband. I didn't want to see what was going on with that relationship because it was one more thing in my little red wagon that I didn't want to deal with. I had a business partner. I didn't see or want to see that he was a real schmuck and that I needed to do something about it until it exploded and caused all kinds of problems in my life and in the lives of a lot of other people. I didn't see that I wasn't paying attention to my health until I ended up bedridden on more than one occasion. I hate to admit it, but I repeated that pattern until I had a sudden cardiac arrest and a massive wake up call that taught me that I need to put my health and my wellness and my well being at least on the up, up, at, give it some time and some resources and some energy to take care of. So my question for you today is, it's gonna be kind of a different one. Do you know that how we see things is filtered through all of our past experiences? Every experience, everything that we've ever felt, hear, heard, thought, or believed filters what we're even willing to see, what we even have the ability to see or to know this. So my question for you today is, how are you feeling right now? What, what's going on? Let's do a, a self audit, a self check, because how we're doing determines and totally impacts and decides the direction and the trajectory of what we're gonna do about our businesses. No matter what our business situation is right now, it all starts with us and the direction and the vision and the leadership that we're gonna show or not show based on how we're feeling, right? So self audit today, how are you feeling? Question one. 
and and just check in with it how am I feeling am I feeling nervous am I feeling worried am I feeling excited am I feeling curious am I feeling overwhelmed am I feeling frustrated how are you feeling just just ask yourself right now hey how am I feeling and then follow that up with well what am I thinking about right now that's causing me to feel that because we don't feel any feeling without first thinking about something that triggers that feeling even if we just wake up first thing in the morning and we kind of wake up on the wrong side of the bed I the first thing I do because I'm, I'm human I wake up on the wrong side of the bed sometimes and the first thing I do is I, I I lay there I don't get out of the bed if I'm feeling ornery or grumpy or worried or doubtful or fearful at all I don't step foot out of that bed anymore until I ask myself well what am I thinking about what was I dreaming about sometimes we just have bad crazy dreams I don't know about you but during this COVID thing I have had some of the most ridiculous far-fetched hilarious they're really hilarious dreams that I've ever had in my life I am sleeping like a rock which is really unusual for a lot of people but I am sleeping like a rock and I'm having some crazy dreams so sometimes I'll wake up and I'll have a feeling and then I ask okay well what was I dreaming about one I was dreaming about there was no place that had a working toilet and toilet paper I was at some camp I don't even know why because it was like a, a kids boys camp and, and I don't even have boys I've got you know I have a son but it was just weird right that's what our dreams do is they pick pieces of what's going on in our life and how we're feeling and they serve them up to us in a weird and creative way but how am I feeling and then what am I thinking am I just thinking about something and then I ask myself is it true is what I'm thinking about even true no it was a weird dream it's not true and then after I, I tap into okay well what am I thinking about is, is it what I want to be thinking about is it making me feel better or worse if it's making me feel better I I give a, I find a different thought but then I ask myself what am I doing what are you doing about what you're thinking and about what you're feeling because there's always something that we can do about anything right now even if we feel like we're stuck in the mud and there's nothing we can do there is always infinite possibilities there are always infinite possibilities around us of what we can do right now we need to focus on the solutions we need to focus on what we can do not what we can't do so that's it that's my little diatribe for today about burying our head in the sand and not knowing that something doesn't mean what we think it means maybe you've never done that but I certainly have um, and I'm, I'm I guess I can admit it I'm old enough to, to confess that I, I mess stuff up sometimes so that's it go out have an absolutely amazing day think about you know do yourself audit are you burying your health your, your head in the sand are you just waiting for this to be over and ignoring what's going on thinking that the world is going to just turn right back on and everything's going to go back to the exact way it was before because that would be a prime example of burying our heads in the sand if if, if you're still doing that almost a month into this it's time for a definite self check and self audit. If you need help with that or if you have any questions about it, just ask. I'm here to help. I am on a massive helping mission throughout this crisis and throughout this challenge because that's what I love to do. Um, otherwise, I will be with you tomorrow with another interesting idiom. What does it mean? Where does it come from? And how might you be able to apply it to your life, your business, your situation right this very minute? Um, and then pick out and do what works for you. Take care. Have an amazing day. And I will be with you tomorrow. Bye.